an exclusive five on your side hidden camera investigation. We uncovered vehicles so unsafe they can cause a crash and they're being sold on used car lots across Ohio. And five on your side chief investigator Ron Regan found this is perfectly legal. These are cars, trucks, SUVs, all with active recalls due to serious safety defects. Safety defects that you know nothing about. And on one Cleveland car lot, that's not the only secret we found. No, I don't have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry? I don't have to ask you to leave. Oh, Gary, I wanted to ask you a couple questions, though. That's Gary's show. So is this. So let's say you're looking for a vehicle like this, but you say, Gary, I want to be around 90000 In a moment, we'll let you decide what our hidden cameras captured. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Gary. Hey, Gary. Hi. Hi. How are you? Can, Hi. I, can I just take a look around? Absolutely. Oh, cool. Okay. Out on the lot, okay. he okay. showed us and this. Oh, yeah. The escape. I think that's got 70,000. 2011 with 70,000, 74,000 miles. How's everything with that one? The condition okay? Uh, let's see. Yep, we put on front patch, front rotors, so that one's ready to go. Ready to go, except for one thing, a fuel leak that may increase the risk of fire. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, this Ford Escape's vehicle identification number remains on an open recall, something Gary failed to mention. It's uh, pretty good. Yeah. Good work. No issues. Went, there was nothing else. Because when it went through service, if we would have done anything else that would have come up. Like if the check engine light was on or needed any kind of sensors, mm -hmm. we replaced it at the time. So it was just the brakes. So we went back again with another customer. What about this one, this Ford? This is a 2011 Escape. This has 74,000 miles on it. And again. Yeah, what we do is once we get it, we pull them in, make sure there's no issues. We'll do the safety checks, you know, check tires, brakes all the fluids and filters. No mention of a recall. So we went back a third time with still another customer. Garage, Eddie checks all the safety features. Make sure the brakes are good, transmission lines are good, brake cylinders are good, tires are good, all your turn signals work, headlights work. We do a safety inspection on it. Three customers, three separate days. Not a single word about a safety recall. It's completely not acceptable. The association representing more than 5,000 used car dealers across Ohio advocates full disclosure, even though the law does not require it. We stress to our members, to every dealer out there, that disclosure is key. Consumers have to be made aware of what is going on with that car before they buy it. So we do things a little different. Before potentially winding up on used car lots, we found there are more than 2 million vehicles in Ohio with unfixed recalls. That's one of every four on the road. We showed our video to Carfax, one of several groups that can verify vehicle history. And you could be buying a vehicle that has a serious defect. Absolutely. Exploding airbags, something that could cause a crash a fire, real safety issues, but unless you're asking about it, the seller's not required to disclose that information to you. And we found not only this Ford Escape, but nine more vehicles with active safety recalls on the same lot. Neil Assad owns Auto Expo 3, where we found Gary Shell at work. Are there cars on your lot that have active recalls, in fact have safety defects? Not to my knowledge. And surprisingly claims Shell was not selling cars. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. He was never selling cars here before. But watch our hidden camera as he opens the door. Hi. How are you? For one of our customers. How are you? I'm very good. <laughs> Shell appears eager to assist. I feel like it must be the way I say it or something. That's Neil Assad on the left. That video sure looks like he's selling cars. It's a 2011, 74,000 miles, it's 12.9. No, I don't think so. The 2011, it's only got 91,000, this one's 99. Well, yeah, what would you I call have, that? I have paperwork, documents, that shows me and the other salesman. Third row seat, four by four, roof. We sell the cars. What do you think he's doing on that videotape? He was here by himself. We went out to lunch, if he was showing a car, or somebody asked questions about a car, that could have happened. Cars today are designed to go two, three hundred thousand miles. Turns out this isn't the first time Shell has come under scrutiny. That's Gary Shell ten years ago in prison for cheating customers at another lot, a crime that bars him from selling cars in Ohio. Gary? Yes. Hi, I'm Ron Regan, News Five. Hi, Ron. Gary, do you have a license to sell cars here in Ohio? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. 
Can you show it to me? Yeah. Under the law, Gary could be committing a crime by failing to have a license and could explain what happens next. I ask you to leave. I'm sorry? I'll have to ask you to leave. Oh, Gary, I wanted to ask you a couple questions, though. No, you're, it appears that you're selling cars here. Is that true? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, I, I need to know that. Are, are you selling cars here? It appears no, you are. I'm not selling them. Well, if we had you on videotape, would that surprise you? I'm going to have to leave. Uh, did you serve time in prison, Gary, for ripping off consumers? State regulators say Shell does not have a valid license. And the owner insists he was not aware of either safety recalls or Shell's prison record and says he was only doing office work, not selling cars. I'm Five on Your Side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Okay, you can check it out for yourself on our News 5 app to see if a vehicle you're about to buy has an 